Futures trading is risky and can result in substantial financial loss. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, trades from across the globe. Welcome to Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. And I gotta say, I hate when I have to do this, but I don't have a choice. I gotta get along this thing tomorrow. What I mean when I say I hate that is, I don't like to be a buyer in a bear market, but on certain days you don't have a choice. We've had, well, Friday we had that crazy run up at the end of the day. Monday we opened up lower and we rallied up. I don't know if I want to consider that two full up days in a bear market. I'm going to look at Monday as first up day in the bear market and take Friday as a bit of a fluke. So Tuesday should be second up day in a bear market and we'll probably sell it once it rallies. Traders, do not fall in love with the upside here. I am telling you right now, there is a lot of bad news out there. In fact, over 2 million loans are coming due in the next month and a half. In fact, I think this month, at the end of this month, in March, over 2 million loans across this country are coming due. And those loans are payments that are going to be raised higher because people had gotten in with, with lower mortgages and lower rates. And now the payment's going to go up. And I'll bet you a lot of those people are going to throw their hands in the air like the rest of the country and go, I can't afford my mortgage any longer. What do I do? And that sea or that wave of foreclosures is going to become news and it's going to come across our markets. And I think that will knock us right back down. So I'm telling you again, do not fall in love with the upside. But yes, we're going to try to take a ride, a little elevator ride up tomorrow. We got a green omni in the S&P. We got a green omni in the NASDAQ. And let me explain to you on the board what I mean by two days up in a bear market. Generally, you have a market that's going down. It's considered a bear market, right? When it turns around and you get a big up day, and there have to be two big up days, not small ones. You get one big up day. When you get the second big up day, that generally is counted as Two days up in a bear market, and the next move is likely back down again. But on that second day, you get an opportunity to kick them out really high. And maybe we'll even find a good sell point. But this is what I expect to happen, I guess, within the next 20 to 30 hours of trading. Now, we've already gotten long traders. I set the flash update. We were lucky enough to stop buying our S&Ps and our NASDAQ. We are still hovering around those areas where we got long. So I want you traders to take a look at the charts in a little while when we're done with this video. I want you to take a look and see whether you should be buying today. And at worst, wait for the rally and then sell if you don't want to be one of the buyers. I know I dislike doing that. I've mentioned it already. But you got to call it for what it is. And tomorrow looks like a green day. With that in mind, traders, the S&P E-mini, the ESH8. Omni says to buy the ESH8 in the mid to high 1360s. Currently trading 1370s, so keep an eye out for that. Place your stop in a sensible area and place your stop first. You have no idea what can happen to you if you're in a market and you're typing your sell order. Let's say you want to get short as it rallies. You start typing your sell order, you hit enter, and some kind of news comes out and the thing skyrockets on you. You don't have a stop in for protection. But if you reverse that, you type your stop order first, so you got to buy stop in, and then you're going to type your sell order before you even get a chance to hit enter. The market takes off because of news. At worst, you stopped into the market long, or you've typed your sell order, you got your sell order in, your stop was waiting, and it knocks you out before you lose too much money. So always place your stops first. With that in mind, we're getting in in the, in the height of mid-1360s. Put your stop in a sensible area. For you traders that aren't sure where to place stops, simply come on down to my site. It's www.livewithoscar.com, and we will tell you exactly where you should be placing your stops. One of the reasons why I think we have a green omni tomorrow is because there are lots of stops above the market, and I think we're going to go take them out. So when you buy them in the 1360s, you put your stop in a sensible area. Profit objective here is the mid to high 1390s or be out MOC, market on close, be out by the close. 
Again, buying them in the 60s, kicking them out in the 90s, and on the way up there is some resistance expected at 1386. We also have a green NASDAQ trade. We have a green Omni for NASDAQ, baby. That's two green Omni. What do you think, guys? Think we're going up tomorrow? Yeah, we're going up for a while anyway, and then we'll probably turn around and come down, but we'll see what it gives us. Um, so the NASDAQ looks good. We have the NASDAQ trade lined up for you. Again, come on down to the side. I'll be more than happy to share that trade with you. Remember, traders, that this is a lot of times. This is the action that you will see in a bear market that's rallying. So I'll say it a third time, and I want you to hear it. Don't fall in love with the upside traders. I'm telling you now, there's bad news out there, so be careful. Yes, I'm calling for a long. I don't want to see you get overzealous about it. All right, traders, don't trade alone. I tell you this every day in every video. Never trade alone. You can come on down to our site and trade with hundreds of Omniacs with me in the room every day, with the camera facing at me and a microphone, you can see me, you can hear me, and I am there to help you get through your day. Traders, we do our best every day to teach. We teach our Omniacs every day how to read the charts, how to keep their emotions in check, when to pull the trigger, and when to sit on your hands. And those are very, very important aspects of trading, and they are habits that you need to form. A lot of you traders have bad habits out there, and I know that because it's impossible to get through this business and not develop some of them. But we can help you to break those habits at the site, so come on down and join us, and we will be there to help you. Traders, I know Mike is not ready for this. How many YouTube videos we got, Mike? This will be 275. Oh, I think he's lying. Are you right about that? I'm right about it. 275 that. videos. We have a lot like this one behind me, and we have them on YouTube categorized for you every day or just about every day we put out a video a lot of those videos i pull up charts and i give lessons on how to use analysis so go to our youtube spot and subscribe to those videos when you subscribe youtube lets you know as soon as you go to youtube when our next video is out the youtube spot is www.youtube.com forward slash futures analysts make sure you do your studying there traders always do your own homework and study these markets Oh, let's see. Emails, emails, emails. I've caught up to, I don't know, 200 out of 500 emails, but I'll get through the rest of them in the next day. Continue to send me your emails. Traders, please. Took I had to take a couple of weeks, uh, a couple of days off from answering emails so we can move into this great new place. Hey, the lighting is beautiful. Hey, guys, thank you so much. I love it here. What a great studio, a great office. We love the move that we just made. But it did knock me out of the box of answering your emails. I am back on track with that, traders. So please send me your homework. Write up a chart. Draw it up the way you like it. Put your indicators and your lines on it. And then shoot me the email, and I will check that homework for you and send you a reply. Send those emails to oscar at futuresanalysts.com. And make sure you give us a call, traders, because we are always here to man those phones for you. Our telephone number is... 702-629-4755. All right, traders, there's a lot of other stuff that we do here at the site, but I'll get into that in another video. I want to get back out to those markets because they're getting a little heated up here. But remember to keep your emotions out of trading. Traders, it is no place to have emotions. You need discipline, and you need to keep your emotions in check. And one of the best ways I can help you in an easy way of keeping your emotions in check is to say this. Stop soaring! Emotions are out! Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. That being said, I am a 24-year seasoned trader on and off the floors. This is how I've made my living for many, many years. Good luck trading.